For millions of Palestinians in Gaza, the primary UN agency UNRWA is simply a lifeline. They depend on it for healthcare, social services and jobs. Especially now, after months of Israel's war on the territory. But threats of funding cuts could worsen an already dire humanitarian situation. Established in 1949, UNRWA's mission was to provide relief to Palestinians who lost their homes by the creation of the State of Israel. Nearly 6 million Palestinians in Gaza, the occupied West Bank, Syria and Jordan rely on the aid provided by the UN agency. With approximately 30,000 staff, UNRWA's reduced funding could impact food aid, health care and other critical services across the Middle East. Israel has called for the suspension of UNRWA's operations, accusing it of supporting what it calls terrorism. Our main goal in the war is to eliminate the threat, not just neutralize it. We know how to eliminate terrorists, but it's harder with an idea. UNRWA represents that idea, breeding more terrorists through various means. We cannot win this war without dismantling UNRWA. The agency has previously faced similar threats. In 2018, U.S. President Donald Trump withdrew more than $300 million in funding, raising concerns about political motives. The U.S. decision was not about UNRWA's performance. It was about uh, the pressure on the Palestinian leadership. And that's a form of politicizing of humanitarian funding that should be absolutely avoided in our view. UNRWA has also been under pressure because of its role in the debate on the Palestinian right of return. The agency recognizes all Palestinians displaced from 1947 and 1948 and their descendants as refugees, who have demanded to return to their homes, a stance Israel has opposed. Israeli officials argue that dismantling UNRWA would remove the refugee issue from discussions. <laughs> UNRWA is an organization that perpetuates the Palestinian refugee problem. It also perpetuates the right of return for Palestinian refugees narrative in order to eliminate the state of Israel. Therefore, UNRWA must become a thing of the past. The UN is investigating 12 UNRWA staff who have been accused of involvement in the October 7 attacks by Hamas in southern Israel. Nine of them have been fired and one is confirmed dead but the 12 staff only account for a fraction of UNRWA's entire 30,000 workforce. The UN agency says it remains committed to transparency, noting no prior concerns about its staff's conduct. Axel Zaimovic, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.